at 3. Developing new details about a deadly boat crash off the Florida Keys. We've now identified the victim as a student athlete from Westminster Christian School. We want to get right to local tents and Alyssa Bovic. She's live in Pinecrest with details on this tragedy. So Louie and Janice, this is just a heartbreaking story. Alvarez was only 18 years old, Lucas Alvarez. He was enjoying a day out on the water in the Keys. When tragedy struck, he was involved in an awful boating accident that took his life. He was loved by so many. I want to take you to video right now. What you are looking at is images of his family and friends. They are currently gathering at his Pinecrest home, grieving, holding on to one another clearly very distraught and understandably so mourning a young promising life cut way too short and I want to take you to some photos of Lucas Alvarez you see him right there he died again in a boating accident in the Keys on Sunday he was a senior at Westminster Christian School and the school also in mourning posting their tribute on their website saying Alvarez was a Westminster student since middle school loved by many and was known for being kind to everyone he was a captain of the lacrosse team and play, planned on attending Ending Universal Technical Institute in Orlando following his graduation. Alvarez, along with three other young adults identified as David Castillo, Nelson Albareda, and Andres Campos were in a 24-foot open fishing boat cruising a channel called Bowlegs Cut near Isla Morada Sunday afternoon when their boat hit a channel marker. The impact sent three people flying overboard. Alvarez was found in the water with injuries to his lower torso. He was raced to Mariner's Hospital in Tavernier, where he died a short time later. The three young men who were also on that boat per FWC were not injured in the accident. And the school says that out of respect for 18-year-old Lucas Alvarez, they are canceling all across games for the week. And once school starts back from winter break on Wednesday, they will have grief counselors on campus to help all of the students, staff, and faculty who are in mourning. We send our deepest condolences to the Alvarez family. For now, that's the very latest here out of Pinecrest. Snella Sabovic, Local 10 News. So much love to the Alvarez family. Thank you so much.